<laughs> so up next, we have a very special guest, um, named Hilary Capan, who, unlike the others, is not a human being, but uh, <laughs> an ethereal projection. Um, he's going to read from his guide, Hilary Capan's Guide to the Impossible. Is Jimmy loud enough? Hi, are you there? I'm here. Can you see us or me? I can. Hi. I'm going to turn you to face the audience, okay? Okay. Um, <laughs> say hi. Hello, audience. Hi. Um, I already introduced you, so you could just start or whatever. Okay. Right. I will tell you, I will read for you two stories from my... Are you hearing a lot of noise? Yes. Should we close that door and just uh, make all those other people screwed? <laughs> <laughs> you think? Uh, everybody, if you want to hear, come in and then we're going to close the door because the volume is uh, quiet. Uh, the last fellow in, or fella, should close the door. <laughs> Thanks so much, Hillary, for calling all the way from a place you never told me. <laughs> well, that's where I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm in the place that's never been told. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, I do not exist. <laughs> Oh, is everybody ready? Ready. ready? Everyone say ready. One, two, three. Ready. Okay. <laughs> Hilary Capan's Guide to the Impossible, which is an
<laughs> if not for the horrible gravity that fluctuated wildly and suddenly grew weak as the pair began to fall, he would have been toast. <laughs> While his lights were out, the man had a dream. In his dream, he saw that everything sucked. <laughs> so when he woke up, he set about to tell everyone who would listen that the world sucked, that all of everything sucked. But nobody would believe him. It's not so bad, they would say, as they hopped on their one broken and excruciatingly painful leg, putting <laughs> water into their eyes to clear away the poison air, and even the water was fundamentally impure here in this world, where atoms were poisonous just because they existed. <laughs> Yet the man persisted, and over time, a few became convinced that absolutely everything in existence sucked. And over the years, these few convinced others who began to teach their children how everything stunk, and the world grew ever worse, as the mood soured and people became anxious to fight the bloodiest wars they could and ruin the economy, which sucked already. People all inherited stock in companies that did their best to unload it, as the stock market sucked too and always went down. <laughs> and ruin the environment, since it already sucked, why not? And ruin the fabric of life, whatever that was, it sucked the most, or else there might be some candle of glimmer at the end of the black hole tunnel of despair everyone lived in, even though nobody admitted it and said, life's okay. <laughs> Planets were, 
only heroes were honorably burned at the stake, and the stakes for heroes were made of the finest mahogany, which burned very slowly, making the burning at the stake much slower. <laughs> But it didn't work. Happiness never cut on, and the universe collapsed under the weight of its own fear and misery, and everyone died a horrible death on every planet, around every pathetic, unreliable star in every galaxy, including Jane's resoundingly poisonous, joyous planet, the end. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, well, thank you. Thanks a lot, Hillary. Thank you very um, much. Uh, we've all had a great time, and I've been telling everyone to applaud for everything all the time. Uh, so, uh, a round of applause for Hillary for telling me to applaud for things, uh, because applause is better than no applause. Thanks a lot, and enjoy your holiday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's it for uh, sanctioned entertainment. Now enjoy the unsanctioned entertainment. Thank you, Mike Molito and the Reality Institute and all the readers. Thanks. Uh,